Let's talk about Quaver responding to Chris Brown for dissing him an offset in his new song. Now, this was going crazy when Chris Brown dropped a deluxe album. Now, on the album, there is a track titled Freak. So this freak is featured Lin Wayne and other artists that he featured on the song. Now, this was the line that was going viral of Chris Brown, dissing Quavo and Migos. Now, he said on this, Buri from Miami, she is from Puerto Rico. Okay, now, effing my old B.E.s ain't gonna make us equal. Sipping that 1942, cause I don't do no Quavo. Freak it, she like Casamigos. Not the Migos. I don't f a boogie, beat man. That shit is all hype. Now this was going crazy. A lot of people say that Chris was actually dissing Quavo. Cause if you're listening to the song, man, go check it out. You can actually see the pronunciation of you know what Chris Brown was trying to say. He actually mentioned Quavo, cause but it sounded like Quavo or stuff like that. But we already know when he dropped the next line and mentioned Migos. So we already know that he's going at Quavo for dating his ex-girlfriend, right? Because he said it. Effing my old B does not make you or make us equal. And that was really crazy, man. That was really crazy. Now, we had allegedly uh, Quavo responding to the situation. And here we go. So he said, when the trussel had to go number one, they kick in with a weak verse. Migos is the greatest group, but he is uncomfortable with it. Now, we have had so many situations of Quavo and Chris Brown having some issues. So, we had them on a fashion week in Italy or stuff like that, where Chris Brown also, you know, mentioned and reacted to the situation and said, can't pick who you sit by. Put all that growth, she a sad ninja, not trying to fumble my bag for little dude, little ninjas or stuff like that. So, he called Quavo a little ninja or stuff like that. So listen up, man. He was going crazy. Now we had him in the past, man, going at offset. We had where they say that Chris Brown publishes his home address, invites offset to come over and fight him, which was crazy. That was 2019. Now there was a lot of situation going on right here, man. Uh Chris Brown not being in good in good terms with Quavo or the Migos. I mean, that was really crazy, but rapping it in a song. That was more crazy because I was actually listening to the song trying to, you know, figure out what he was trying to say. So he got so mad because, you know, um, Quaver was actually dating on effing, smashing his ass girl or stuff like that. So it looks like Chris Brown got so mad and started going off on Quaver and he decided to make it in a song, which I think is really crazy, man. If a man started smashing your ass girl and you're going to be on a song, crying about the situation i mean what does that make you man it makes you look so crazy you get what i'm saying because chris sounded so jealous because it looks like he's still checking up on his old girl and stuff like that and he felt like quavo smashing his old girl makes them equal or stuff like you know it's like overthinking and overreacting to situations which i'm not comfortable with you get what i'm saying now Chris wanna rap about the situation and he decided, you know, to call names and all that crazy stuff. Now Quavo is responding. I literally know that Offset is going to respond to the situation because he didn't only, you know, um mention the Quavo situation. He also went at the Migos. It's like disrespecting the group. I mean, that was crazy, bro. Now rest in peace to take off, cause if Takeoff was still here, man, I don't think this should be happening because, you know, you know how Takeoff goes, man. Takeoff is going to go get back to the studio and respond to this whole situation and this going to go crazy because we already know that Takeoff is a dope rapper. I mean, he, he drops a lot of lines and, you know, that, that brother is really dope. So, may he so rest in peace. But listen up, bro. I don't like it when some of these artists, some of these rappers go against each other trying to prove a point i mean it doesn't make sense to me but at the end of the day man it is what it is we have to also figure out that this entertainment because you already know that these are the type of stuff that sells in the entertainment industry now we had so many situations of rappers trying to recycle women in the industry right you see a woman who is dating another rapper or another singer in the industry that's the one you want 
But there are so many women out here, man, who is not being in the industry, who is not being recycled and stuff like that. Because I believe that if Wavo wasn't trying to get back at Chris Brown, he shouldn't be going at his girl, man. I mean, that's his ex girl, anyways. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Let me know what you all think under the comment section. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video.